one of the most exotic machines at Rocket Challenge is prepping for launch. It's a hybrid in every sense, half rocket, half airplane, all powered by a motor burning liquid oxygen and rubber. Even its name is experimental. X-30. NASA had a concept in the mid-70s, early 80s for the X-30 National Aerospace Plane. It was an aircraft that looked something like this that was designed to go from the west coast of York in 30 minutes or less. Well, NASA never flew the thing. In mid-1980, they dropped it because of lack of funding, and really they didn't have the technology to perfect the vehicle. So in any case, what we did is I took the NASA 3 view drawings, and basically that's how we got to the large vehicle. This is over 10 foot long, over 5 foot wingspan. It'll weigh 65 pounds on the launch pad. Rocket should go nice and high and, and put up a very impressive flight, but it is a highly experimental vehicle, so it's the nature of the beast. We'll see how we do. The real thing was slated to fly coast to coast. This version gets about a four second boost from its motor. They're hoping it can cross a cornfield. Instead of coming back to Earth under a parachute, X-30 makes a more graceful return, gliding down under radio control. Ready to go as soon as we can get on the rail. Get somebody to drop that rail down. Yep. Oh, oh man. Well, I'm getting a little nervous, but uh, that's to be expected. Okay, let's go. Team X-30 back on the program. All right. Good to go. We're good to go. The high-powered introduction of the oxidizing liquid hydrogen makes the hybrid motor even louder than a conventional rocket motor. Nose down, you're getting slow. Okay. Coming in. Good job. Yeah! All right. Great landing, Dave! Way to go! Woo! Thank you, gentlemen. That was a nice flat landing. Thank you. That was nice. That was Thank nice. You. Oh, wow. Awesome. All right, I'm done. I'm going to pass out now.